that you will do I will praise you I will praise you From the rising of the sun Till the setting of the same I will praise you I will praise you My fortress, my refuge My one and only home I will praise you I will praise you You are my fortress, my refuge My one and only home I will praise you I will praise you You are my fortress, my refuge
Oh 
made and we will rejoice in it we will rejoice in him and we will give him all the glory hallelujah amen 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 and let me see you clap for the lord hallelujah amen 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 are you ready to praise the lord amen are you ready to praise the lord oh yes amen now let me see you clap your hands let's go
moment and worship the Lord in this place. Come on, raise a voice. Raise a sound of worship in this place. For he alone is God. He alone is worthy to be worshipped. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him your worship in this place. Give him your worship. Father, Lord, we give you glory. Yes, Lord. Jehovah, we worship your holy name. Woo. We declare that there is none like you, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Truly, we acknowledge that you alone deserve all glory. the glory. We acknowledge that you alone deserve all the worship. We acknowledge that you alone deserve all the honor, O oh God. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. We exalt your name. We lift your name on our heart, Jehovah. For you are the most high God. You are the God who rules over everything. We worship and glorify your holy name. We declare that your name is great. We declare that your name is mighty. We declare that your name is powerful. Father, we worship your name. We worship your name. You are alone, our God. You are mightier than all things. You are greater than all things, oh God. We worship and glorify your holy name. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We give you all the worship, oh God. Go ahead and give God the praise. Give God the praise. We bless your holy name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. You we bless your name. You are bigger. You're bigger. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger, yes, you are bigger in all your ways. You are bigger, you're bigger, you're bigger than what people say. You're bigger, yes, you are bigger in all your ways. You are greater. You're greater, you're greater than what people say. You're greater, you're greater in all your ways. You are bigger, Lord. You're bigger, you're bigger, you're bigger than what people say. You're bigger, yes, you are bigger in all your ways.
families we are here for Jesus there is no other purpose that the Lord can gather his people if not for his own purpose so I want you to believe with me this morning that as a nation as families as parents we need God as a generation we need God I want you to lift up your hands with me and tell the Lord Lord we are here this morning we pray that in your presence you may minister to us we pray we will go out of your presence, not the way we came in. We pray we be partakers of the gifts of God in his presence this morning. The Lord assure us that there is no time he can call his people and his people live in presence without receiving. I want you to trust the Lord for the things you have been praying for. We have been learning about giving to the Lord. We have been walking through the word of God that we become givers. I want you to give the worship to the Lord. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, how I worship you with my heart, with my body, with my spirit. May my body be a living sacrifice today. May my worship reach to your throne of grace in the name of Jesus. May, may, may my life be changed because I have come. May my chains be broken because I have come. May my life receive the breath of God that delivers me from every dryness. In the name of Jesus, I want you to speak to every situation in your life. This is your time. Declare it before the word of God comes forth. It has to find a ground. Tell the Lord, I prepare my spirit. I prepare my heart. I allow myself to be a student of the Holy Spirit. I allow myself. I lose myself. I lose my thoughts. I lose my, my, my flesh. I lose my pride. I lose anything that can be an hindrance to the presence of God. Tell the Lord, I lose myself that I become vulnerable to him. Let me tell you, there is no how God can minister to you unless you become vulnerable. What made Abraham become vulnerable is he realized the person he was dealing with. As believers, we need to come to a place of vulnerability in the
the presence of God that the Lord may do that which he wants to do. Lord, I don't want to be an hindrance to your presence. Lord, I don't want to miss your presence. I don't want to come time and time and again without experiencing your touch. The, the woman that was had the issue of blood, he got to a point where he was tired and he had to push through the crowd to just touch the garment. I don't know where your faith is this morning. Can you push through your situations? Can you push through your circumstance and just touch the presence of God and see him today? Can this moment become your changing moment? Can this moment become the revelation of God who has called you this morning? Father, we release ourselves. We lose ourselves in your presence this morning. That the Spirit of God may transform our minds and our hearts. That we may be renewed in the name of Jesus. We refuse to be to be new people in the presence of God. We want to become sons that obey, that yield to the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us. Help us to discern your presence. Help us to discern your voice, Lord. As you speak, may we hear, may we understand and may we be obedient to your voice in the name of Jesus. We refuse to harden our hearts. The children of Israel hardened their hearts. And they had to go through hard times. Lord, we allow ourselves, we lose ourselves. That we may, we may be broken and vulnerable this morning. That our lives may be changed. Marriages may be healed. Businesses may see a refreshing moment in the hard times. We may have a testimony that yes, the storm was there, but we were hidden in the hands of God. We were carried by God himself. We were sustained by his word and his presence. That is why Moses said, Lord, unless your presence go with us, we will not make it. He said they walk and their shoes never worn out. They walked because the presence of God was with them. I want you to pray and tell God, it is your presence that I need this morning. It is your presence that I declare over my life, over my marriage, over my family, over my business. It is your presence that will sustain me. It is your presence that will keep me through the tough times when people are crying right left I will not cry because I know I am a child of God I know I'm a son carried by his grace in the name of Jesus Lord as a church we pray for your grace to carry us in this season of giving your grace will carry us your grace will supply that we will give to the Lord in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for the nation Kenya this morning. Let me tell you the church is in a very dangerous place. We have come to church now. I want us to lift the altar of God in the presence of God. It is him that is the gatekeeper of his altar. I want us to tell the Lord may you cover your church with your grace. Lord cover the church in this nation. Cover the church in this nation, oh God. We have brought defilement to you, oh God. We have made the church to look like a place that doesn't look like a church. Oh God, we are crying out. We are repenting this morning for allowing the altar of God to be at the place where it is as a nation. We are crying out to you, Yahweh. Have mercy on the church. Have mercy on us as believers. We have not prayed for the church. We have not stood for the church. We have let the church be vulnerable to the things of the world. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, keep your church this morning. We speak the blood of Jesus over the church. Wash the church by the blood of Jesus. 
We pray for the gatekeepers of this nation. The priest that you have raised. Our dad that you have raised even in this altar. We give him over to you, O oh God. We cover him by your grace and by your blood. By your presence, O oh God. That as a ministry of the church of the living God in this nation. We shall stand for that what is of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the government, Lord. We pray for the government of this nation, O oh God. From the president down to the village elders. We commit these men to you, O oh God. You call them. We give them over to you, God. Lord, give them a heart of humility this morning. Give them wisdom that they may lead this nation how you want in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we raise the young people in this nation, oh God. The young people all over this nation, we pray for them, oh God. They are our children, our brothers and sisters. We stand on the altar of God and call you for them. Lord, rescue them. Lord, give them peace. Give them wisdom, oh God. That our generation will live for Jesus. That our generation will live for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. We are standing on the altar of God, praying in the entire nation that Jesus will be lifted. His name will be Yahweh. His name will be Elohim Adonai, the way maker. The Lord will provide solution at such a time of this nation. You shall provide direction at a such a time as a nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We honor you. Thank you for gathering us, oh God. We pray this morning. We allow our hearts to be open to the leading of the Spirit of God. We open our minds and our heart to the understanding of the word of God. We pray as your word come forth, oh God, pour your anointing that breaks the yoke. Pour your anointing that brings healing and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and believe this morning. Can you celebrate Jesus this morning? Come on, celebrate Jesus one more time. Give him praise. You can do much better than that. Hallelujah. And now help me to, to celebrate our mom and dad in the house. Come on, do much better than that. These are our parents. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, mom. Thank you so much, dad. We are really honored to be given opportunity to serve. We are really blessed to have you. Every son desires a parent. And so we are grateful that we have them because we are assured of inheritance. Amen. So thank you so much, dad and mom. One more time, let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Asante sana. Let's have our seat. Hallelujah. Good morning. Um, I'm so blessed to be here tonight, this morning. I'm standing to bring our notices this morning. Amen. But before I start to give our notices, I would love to recognize any new member, anyone who has joined us for the first time. You can just lift your hands where you are. You can just lift your hands. Come on, let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Come on, keep on lifting up your hand. If there is anyone else, come on, join him in lifting hands and celebrating him. If you are closer to him, you can welcome him in a good way. Come on, just help welcome him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Karibu sana. We are so happy to have you today. Uh, after the service, you will just meet our care team on the further right of my hand on the visitor's lounge. Now, our weekly opportunities are as follows. We have a morning due that comes every day from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. LTC Connect Groups uh, from Monday, uh, every Monday from 6 p.m. This is the time that we meet as, as members to be able to share the word of God. Bible Focus is on every Wednesday from 6 p.m. And Friday evening prayers are on from 6 p.m. every Friday. 
We want to appreciate everyone who attended parenting seminar yesterday. Can you help me to celebrate everyone who attended the parenting seminar? We are really blessed. It was a good time. I was in this place, and I must tell you that it was really an amazing time to be here yesterday. I want to bring to your attention that we have two-day evangelism that is coming on 28th and 29th of June. Therefore, we are being called upon to be part of this that is coming this coming week. And then there is a worship night is coming up from on 28th of this same week, this same month. Therefore, we welcome all of you to come and be part of this worship night. We also encourage you to help us to be able to share the gospel outside there and invite people to come and be part of this worship night. Also, we have Dobbs Evangelism that is coming up on 12th, on 13th of July, 2024. That is coming next month. Then we have a Youth Ablaze Weekend that is coming up on 12th and 14th of July. Praise the Lord. Then we are having a School of Prayer that is coming up on, tw on 25th and 26th of July this coming, this coming month. Therefore, we encourage all of you to come and be part of this School of Prayer. Now, membership class is coming soon. And therefore, we encourage all those who have not registered to register to become the members. And now there are qualifications for you to be a member. Number one qualification is that you must be born again. And number two is that you must have worshipped with us at least for three months. Praise the Lord. We also encourage you to join our CLG circle. Come, we, we kindly encourage you to register and also bring on other people to come and register in this circle before the registration fee is, is high. Praise the Lord. At this time, you will allow me to welcome Pastor Gladys to come and take us through our groups. Karibu Nisan. Let me hear, help me celebrate him. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning. I'm here to bring the updates of our groups of blessing. Uh, we have 10 groups, uh, so... I'll, I'll mention what each group has been able to give. Group one, they have given a total funds of 61,050 shillings uh, plus the apostles' blessing. That gives us our 71,050 shillings. Uh, group two, they have given us uh, 36,900 uh, plus the 10,000. That is 46,900. Uh, group three, they have a total of 150,500. Uh, group four, they have a total of 106,000. Group five, they have a total of 155,500. Group six, have a total of 108,950. Group seven, they have a total of 87,500. Uh, group eight, they have a total of 187,930. Group nine, they have a total of 127,000. 500 and the last group which is group 10 they have a total of 50,500 can we first appreciate all of us because every group has something and now I want to invite the members of group one as the most improved group to be upstanding on their feet for us to appreciate them members of group one led by uh, minister Vincent and pastor Peter can we give them a higher Applause this morning. Amen. And I want to invite uh, the first uh, three groups. Uh, on the third position is group four with a total of 106,000. Members of group four, you can be upstanding. Uh, they are led by uh, Minister Elvin Haemba. Members of group four, can we appreciate members of group four? Yes, holding in. Uh, then we have uh, group number two. Uh, group number two is group five. Can we have members of group five upstanding? Members of group five led by Francis Kamau. Uh, members of group five led by Minister Francis Kamau. Yeah, we can appreciate them. Thank you so much. And then in the first positions, uh, these ones have refused to leave the first position. This is group eight, led by our very own Pastor Joshua. <laughs> Members of group eight, you can be upstanding. <laughs> Members of group eight, we can appreciate them. We can give them a louder applause. 
Thank you so much, members of Group 8, for encouraging us even to give more. Uh, we look forward to seeing you giving more this coming week. Challenge yourself that your, your group, it may not be number three or number two or number one, but at least you can take the most improved position. And that's the update for today. May the Lord bless you. Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's give praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. We may be seated in the presence of God. It's exciting to be in the house of the Lord this morning. What a wonderful place to be. Rejoicing in the Lord. happening everything is okay you know you didn't wait for me to welcome you back <laughs> that's what is going on okay and you're wondering hey you are coming so early and you're wondering I feel amen like, let's put our like hands together for our father and welcome him back let's welcome our father back you are not excited is that how you can welcome back your father this morning I say put your hands together and celebrate our father. You know you are not here on Father's Day and we are trying to recover, isn't it? Put your hands together very well for our father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elder had something small to say, so you are now us. Elder. Okay. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are glad this morning to have our dad in the house. Amen. Amen. And I want you to show me some smile as you celebrate our dad. It is a season. That is for our local MCA called Mr. Nyandika. Amen. I'm saying we are celebrating a season of fatherhood. It, it wasn't a day. Amen. Hallelujah. Last Sunday, the world was celebrating Father's Day. And we didn't have an opportunity to celebrate. But who is God now? Amen? God has given us an opportunity that we can celebrate our dad in the house. Hallelujah. Have your seats shortly. Shortly. I promise it won't be long. Amen. Our dad, 
just let you know we honor you. We appreciate you. We thank you for the sacrifice that you have done for us and enable us to come this far. Amen. Amen. You are our father figure in this house and your presence matters most to us. As Paul spoke to Timothy in the book of Timothy chapter number 2 and he says let this spirit that was in your grandmother Lois be upon you. Indeed your spirit has been upon us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have always guided us led us enabled us given an opportunity that we may serve God in this altar and in this uh, sanctuary. And through that, we praise the Lord. May God honor you and bless you more. Hallelujah. Amen. And for us to honor you, we have come this morning to stand the gap, to appreciate you, not only by word, but also by deed. Amen. It's good to say to tell someone I honor you. I appreciate you. But it's also good to show by action, by deeds. It touches the heart of that person. Amen. That's why the Bible says someone was hungry and you told them, may God bless you. You haven't dealt with that hunger. Amen. I'm not preaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not preaching. Amen. I want to call upon my fellow leaders and pastors just to stand and appreciate our dad with a token of appreciation. Thereafter, I will be calling upon the main chairman Kingdom Men Chairman, our brother Samuel Karyuki, to come forth and honor our dad with the main department appreciation. And thereafter, the dubs, the Adam of Beauty, they will come forth and honor our dad. Amen? I said we are honoring our dad this morning because it's a season of honor to the father of the house. Hallelujah. Kindly, may we be upstanding the uh, pastors as we come forth to honor our dad. I pray that our dad will step forth or forward as he step forward a round clap. That round clap is not for the Church of the Living God. And it is not properly constructed. A round clap, another one, and a bigger one. Amen. That one has got some sense. Kindly come forward just to Redeem on timing. Some music kindly as they step forward.
Amen. Those who are the pastors, now before the elders, kindly the chairman of the main department. And before he presents, he will have a word. A word before he presents the gift. Uh, praise God, church. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. I'm humbled to be here this morning. My name, as you have heard, is Samuel Karaoke. Uh, I'm the chairman of the men's in this church. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel privileged to have given that opportunity. And uh, we want to tell our dad, we were here on Sunday. We missed you. Uh, as, as fathers in the house, and as we were taught yesterday, the fathers are there to provide, to protect, to discipline, to direct, and even to anoint. So as we come here, we acknowledge that we have a father in this house. Uh, you have taken us to a higher level that we are. You have nurtured us from where we were. You have given us an opportunity. In as much as probably we have not stayed here for too long, you are nurturing us to the next level of responsibilities and even of uh, taking this church to a higher level. So as men, uh, we are grateful for the opportunity that you have given us. Uh, we were here on Sunday. Uh, we did something small as fathers. We fed the church when we were away. And even after doing that, we still have a small token that we want to acknowledge and appreciate you. So we are grateful. We wish you all the best. As you keep on nurturing us, young and old, you keep on jaring us together that we can take this church to the higher level. So on those few remarks, we have a small token here. We know very well that a father, uh, you cannot just go to a father with empty hand for you to get a blessing. So we ask you to appreciate what the man has done. And the near future, we'll keep on making it bigger and bigger. So, with those few remarks, I'm humbled, and uh, I wish you accept uh, the gift of the, of the men. Amen. Amen. Applause the Lord Amen. as the men present their gift this morning. Yes, Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Men are coming forth to give to the Father. Hallelujah. Honoring our Father this morning. Now the dobs, the dobs are coming forth. That is a powerful ministry that the Lord has given to us. They continue to do wonders in this place. They say they want to come in in style. There's so many bariki naruka kama tai. There's so many bariki naruka kama tai. Naruka kama tai elele Elele so many bariki naruka kama tai elele Elele 
from Dobbs, Dad, Dobbs are telling you that we want to, exp to express our deepest gratitude for your guidance, wisdom, and unwavering support. Your presence in our lives has been a beacon of light, guiding us through challenges and celebrating our triumphs. Your spiritual leadership has sharpened our journey profoundly, and we are truly blessed to have you as our mentor and a guide. Thank you for all that you do. We honor the grace of God in your life and we pray that the Lord will keep you for so many years. God bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. 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 Celebrate God once again this morning. As the doves present their gift this morning to the Father. Amen, amen, amen. A round clap of applause again. sit shortly before I invite him again, kindly. As our dad has a seat, I want to invite Pastor Emmanuel just to say something on behalf of the children's ministry. Aya, aya, sumameni, 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 sumameni. We want to sing to the Lord and celebrate our Father. Are you ready? Give us something. Give us something. This is children's ministry. All the boys and girls, praise the Lord. Yes, we want to dance. 20, everybody take your position. We are celebrating our dad. person. <laughs> uh, I think Joshua and Ada Raymond were laughing at my photo. We were, before we built this church, we were actually in the Mabati church there. And uh, dad appointed me to head children ministry. Praise the Lord. And I will tell you uh, now it's about 12 years down the line. Praise the Lord. If you compare that photo and me, that was another person. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is who dad has helped me to become as a leader in this ministry. Praise the Lord. 
and the children ministry. Praise the Lord. And whenever you go him with a difficult task, he doesn't make it easier for you. He doubles. Hello? He doubles the task by helping you bring what, it, what is inside of you. Praise the Lord. So I'm here standing as a, as a pastor in this ministry, not because of my making. In fact, if I had remained back in the village, <laughs> I don't know where I would be. Praise the Lord. So I'm celebrating a father who has not just made me become who I am in ministry, but even in the things of God. Praise the Lord. When you look at all these children, some of them are actually finishing university. And it's a blessing when they call me teacher. So this teacher is not of my making. It is because a man called me out. Praise the Lord. So as children ministry on the behalf of all the teachers, Daddy, we appreciate the grace upon your life. Just to serve here. And this church, by the way, some of you know and some of you don't know. It is known as a children church. This children church is because there is a man every holy day, he purpose to see children come here for Jesus. Amen. So as a ministry, we celebrate the, the milestone we have made as children ministry. But the background of all that success is a man seated here today. So that we love you so much as children ministry. Uh, teacher Mary, stand up. Teacher Raymond, teacher Esther is back there. Please stand up, teachers. Teacher Esther, teacher Gladys is right here. Gladys. So these are the servants of God that God has helped me to lead under the leadership of our Gio. So Gio, we celebrate you and mom. Thank you so much. We are who we are, not because of ourselves, but because of the grace that you have helped us to walk under. And we celebrate you. Hey, all the boys and girls, can you stand up? All the boys and girls, stand up. Can we clap for Jesus, for our dad? Can we clap for Jesus for our dad? Amen and amen. Thank you so much. May you have your seat. So that we are praying for you. And we are praying that the Lord will give you more grace. And a fresh anointing every day. That we may become even better than what we are today. Thank you so much. Let's appreciate our dad. Amen. A round clap. Another one and a bigger one. I want to invite the youth minister, Pastor Gladys, to say something about the youth. As she comes, kindly appreciate her. Thank you so much. It's such a privilege to have a moment to celebrate our dad. As the young people, just want to write, uh, I want to read a message that we wrote. And it says, when people stand on giants, uh, on giants' shoulders, they are able to see far. We are privileged to be those people who are standing on your shoulders, and we are able to see far. Your vision is so big that it accommodates us. We are able to serve the vision that God has given us through serving that vision that God has put in your heart. Your role in shaping young, uh, young lives and demonstrating God's love is truly admirable. We celebrate you for being a trailblazer and for fighting battles on our behalf. We admire your leadership and your achievements, and we are also inspired to become. Uh, we celebrate that you have kept a young mind. Uh, even personally, I struggle to explain to people what I do, but whenever I explain to you, you are able to understand. That shows me that you have kept your mind strong. You've kept yourself up to date. You have accepted to unlearn and relearn. You have accepted to accommodate us. This is the group that has the Gen Zs. And you have accepted to accommodate us. And for that, we celebrate God. And we wish you a happy Father's Day, a belated Father's Day. And may God keep increasing you. And may you bless many generations. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Gladys for that powerful message to our dad. Amen. Last but not least, I want to invite Pastor Edward for the worship ministry. Pastor Edward, on behalf of the worship ministry. I appreciate Pastor Edward as he comes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Um, when I stand here, I feel like a last one. Praise God. I regard the worship team. I think we normally feel as the last bonds of our Father. Praise God. And actually we are because I believe we are the people that get the best care in this congregation. Praise God. Because we serve with him here uh, and it really feels good to, to serve with you. I know the worship team, we, we love you so much. Uh, we don't have the best really words to express how much we value you. We value your leadership. And uh, just for you to allow us to serve with you, it's really a great honor. I have served with you for the past 18 years. Actually, I have been in this worship team for 18 years. Praise God. 18 years. He has been mentoring me. Everything you see standing here is because of him. Praise God. He gave me a wife here. And uh, he has dedicated all my children here. Praise God. I, whenever I am with him, I don't have to worry about anything. And that is how we feel in the worship team. Whenever Apostle is around and Mama, we, we feel everything is okay. And we really heed to your counsel. We are really looking forward to, to know what God really wants uh, us to do as we continue to serve with you. Um, I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> God bless you so much, uh, Papa. We honor you and uh, more grace. A round clap. Amen. Praise the Lord. Last Sunday we learned that a father has vision. Amen. And as we look unto God who had vision of the world, he also encourages that a father must have visions. And the Bible says, write your vision bold enough that whoever is running may see and read, may understand. And as a ministry, we have privilege to be, have a father who has visions. When this area was still dormant, sleeping, he had vision of the years to come. And here we are, we have a place where we can worship. I remember some said, why build a big thing and we were just a few? It was because of the vision that he had. Amen? And when he had, he had a need, his need for the education for his children, he also thought of the entire community. And here we are with the school standing tall because of the vision of a man. Amen. And this morning, just to honor our dad, we have a school, Mount Moriah Christian International School. And this morning, I want to invite Mount Moriah just to come and say a word and do a presentation to our dad. Kindly put your hands together as we invite our head teacher our head teacher to come and speak on behalf of Mount Morakis and School. Praise the Lord. Yeah, we are here as uh, Mount Moriah Christian School. We are here with uh, our learners who have come to represent the entire school just to honor 
our father, our director, our mentor and uh, a great leader. We have so much to say. Uh, but we were just able to put just a part of it on this paper because we cannot really expound all but from the bottom of our hearts you have stood with us you have shown us the way I remember the day I stepped into this place in a humble office that was just there and the first person I met was uh, our father and uh, that day or that time it was 2016 in the month of May we only had five learners of which three were your children we used to get food from the house the food that you ate in your house is the food that was brought here for lunch I'm saying this because maybe many of us, when they see us as we are today, you might think that uh, we just began from there. And uh, at the times we felt so low. When people mocked us, we looked like we were people who were mad, who were not going anywhere. But you encouraged us because of the great vision that you had that you have even up to now when we see where we are as Mount Moriah for real it is a victory from God and this tells us that uh, it is only through obedience I put it as it is through obedience and mama you are coming to the east was not in vain and we thank you for your obedience. We thank you for being who you are and encouraging us to take step at a time. For all those milestones that Mount Moriah have taken, it is through your leadership. It is through your obedience, through your prayer, and that resilience and dedication and uh, we thank God for all this and we know that God is taking us far and we are happy because we have great leaders we are not shaken in whichever way because we know we have the right people we have visionary leaders we have great people who give all to make sure that uh, the will of God prevails in this place we call this school uh, a basket of preserving destinies. And I'm saying this because we have our learners who have gone to other schools. We have the learners that we exited last year to high school. And the testimonies we get from those schools, they are asking, where are, is this girl from? Where is this boy from? Because they can stand and shun evil. They can stand and point out that Mualimu, this is wrong. What is happening in this school is wrong. It is because of what we have instilled in them. And we are so happy. We are so happy. So we have our learners. Welcome our learners. Just come over. They have a presentation. Let us encourage them, please.
everybody get up celebrate a very special day father's day clap your hands clap your hands happy father's day shake your hips shake your hips happy father's day do a dance do a dance happy father's day raise a roof raise a roof happy father's day happy 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 father's day happy 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 father's day Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Here's a heart that I send to you. Thank you for your love and all you do. Here's my arms to give you a hug. Thank you for all your kindness and love. Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. 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 Clap your hands, clap your hands. Happy Father's Day. Shake your hips, shake your hips. Happy Father's Day. Do a dance, do a dance. Happy Father's Day. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day, we love you! Praise God. My, my name is Dylan. Today we celebrate you on this special Father's Day. As children of Mount Moriah International Christian School, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for founding our school. You created a place where we feel safe, loved and secure in a world can be difficult and sometimes scary. Thank you for the great vision. Thank you for laying the right foundation for us. Thank you for giving us wings in which we soar. On this day, we honor you because you deserve. You are such an amazing father, director, and a great leader. You are a blessing to all of us. We are the best among the rest. We have the best father. We thank God for giving us an amazing dad. May God bless you. Happy Father's Day. This is what Mount Moriah Fraternity is saying this morning. Today we gather to celebrate and honor a remarkable man, our father, our director, Mount Moriah International Christian School, who is not only a visionary founder and leader, but also a beloved spiritual father to us all. As we commemorate Father's Day, 
It is only befitting that we express our deepest gratitude and heartfelt appreciation for your unwavering support, boundless wisdom, relentless dedication, and visionary leadership that has been instrumental in shaping this institution into the nurturing and academically enriching environment it is today. Looking back, it is truly remarkable and amazing how far we have come. By God's grace and through your insightful leadership, we have been able to weather the storms and appreciate every milestone. From the inception of Mount Moriah International Christian School, you have been the cornerstone of our institution. As the founder and vision bearer, you have guided us with clear and in inspiring vision, rooted in strong Christian values and committed to excellence in education. Your dream of creating a nurturing environment where young minds can flourish, grow, and where destinies are preserved has come to life through your tireless efforts and profound dedication. This was your dream, a dream to raise and nurture a generation that will rise and be a consolation to our community, our country, and the world at large. We are incre incredibly grateful for your unwavering support to the staff and the growth of Mount Moriah Christian School. You are steadfast believe in the mission and your continuous encouragement have empowered us to achieve new heights. Your support has not only enabled us to develop as educators, but also has enriched the lives of countless students who pass through our halls. Your wisdom is a beacon of light that guides us through every challenge and triumph. Your insightful counsel and thoughtful guidance have been invaluable in navigating the complexities of our roles. Your good thoughts towards the school and their fervent teaching on personal development are a testament to your commitment to our growth. You constantly encourage us to strive for excellence, to develop our talents, and to pursue our dreams with confidence and determination. Your teachings have profoundly impacted our lives, shaping us into better educators and better people. We are immensely grateful for your patience and understanding. In times of uncertainty and difficulty, your calm and compassionate presence reassures us that we are not alone and that all is well. Your patience allows us to learn and grow at our own pace fostering an environment of trust and respect. Your prayers for us and the entire fraternity of Mount Moriah International Christian School have been a source of immense strength and comfort. Your unwavering spiritual guidance uplifts us and reminds us of the power of prayer, devotion, and obedience. In you, we have learned that Obedience is the key to seeing the power of God on display in the lives of men. We honor and appreciate you for the countless lives you have touched and changed through your leadership and ministry. Your influence extends far beyond the walls of uh, Mount Moriah Christian School, impacting the broader community and inspiring positive change in the hearts of, and minds of many. You have transformed lives, renewed hope, and instills, uh, instilled a sense of purpose and direction in all who have had the privilege of knowing you. Finally, we thank you for your spiritual counsel, your humility, obedience, and commitment to serving God and nurturing your spiritual children is unwavering. Your prayers, teachings, and example inspire us to deepen our faith and live our lives with integrity and purpose. Your dedication to God's work is evident in everything you do, and we are blessed to have you as our Father. 
As we conclude, we acknowledge that our father and director is a true blessing to all of us. Your leadership, wisdom, faith, obedience, love, and humility have made an indelible impact in our lives and our school. On this special day, we honor you. We thank you. We celebrate you. We hold you in high esteem for all that you are and all that you do. May God continue blessing you and may the heavens open for you. May you be blessed in all your endeavors. Happy Father's Day. A round clap, another one. A big I, I, I beg my uh, father to come in forth so that the Mount Moriah fraternity can present their gifts this morning. Do they look good? Very presentable. Appreciate them once again. Hello. Your hands together. I said appreciate them. Are you tired of appreciating them? informed that Mount Moriah have prepared a cake for our dad. Therefore, as we share the grace, kindly not to be in a hurry to go, they will be presenting it and cutting it for our dad at the end of the service. Amen. They have a final, uh, kindly have your seats. They have a final presentation.
a bigger one I want to invite our mom just to now officially invite our dad to speak a word to us this afternoon. Officially to bring the word of God to us this hour. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We wanted to say that we love you. We honor you. That you are a gift that we don't just take it for granted that we appreciate you for the people that you have raised us to be it is by your grace that we have come this far it is by your grace that we are able even to stand before the people of God we love you so so much and we honor you we pray that God will continue to renew your strength and we pray that God will continue to do you good Want you put our hands together as we welcome now officially our Father to come and bless us with the word of the Lord. I say, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I Hapa ni mkono wa Mungu Umeni beba hai jawa rahisi Tufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu Umeni beba hai jawa rahisi Tufika hapa ni mkono wa Mungu Many babies, 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 Welcome mikono yako pamoja hivi hivi Cheza kidogo cheza kidogo Hey hey hey
Umeni beba Umeni beba Bimkono wa mungu Umeni beba Umeni beba Umeni beba Umeni beba Umeni beba Bimkono wa mungu Umeni beba Umeni beba Umeni beba Umeni beba Give him a shout of praise. A shout of praise. I say a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Uh, it's exciting to celebrate the Father's Day um, in a way that brings glory to God. And I want to take this very precious moment to appreciate um, the leadership of this ministry, the leadership of Mount Moriah Christian School, and I just want to appreciate of you. All the leaders of this church, please be upstanding. Um, I want to thank all the leaders, the leaders, the pastors, the elders. Um, please be upstanding. Thank you so much under the leadership of Pastor Teresa, whom I always make reference to as a senior pastor. I am the overseer of the ministry, and uh, she is the senior pastor, actually. So thank you so much uh, for um, standing the fort and giving direction. And I also appreciate our executive pastor. Uh, we have pastors and we also have executive pastor, that is Pastor Godfrey. Um, for uh, your leadership on this and all you pastors for the great work we are doing. I'm really humbled when I uh, see where we have come from. It was just yesterday. I, I didn't know what was being planned here. So it is always good to be to bump into surprises. I didn't know what was plan, being planned here. But um, I was reminding my wife of um, the time when we came here and there was nothing. And uh, I was leading a procession. I was actually the one leading singing all the way from around Bristol Park when this area was empty. And uh, oh, I think there are people here who are part of it. The procession people, can you lift up your hands? When we did a procession to come here, there are just probably quite a few that are remaining. Oh, Peter, I thought you were part of the profession, procession that came here. That was uh, probably in 2000 and, um, 2006. When we came to anoint this ground, na tuka panda bendera, tuiweka bendera kwa kila kona, ikiwa imeandikwa maandishi ya kupossess the land. And um, I was asking my wife yesterday, ile video, ka video kadogo kako api. It, it's a good reminder of where we have come from and what the Lord has, has done. Praise the name of Jesus. The genesis of my ministry as a pastor is here in Nairobi, in Kware, in 1991, when I first became a pastor of a local church from July 1991 in Kware. And uh, the Lord has um, proved himself faithful from that time. I gave my life to the Lord in 1981. 
and um, uh, walking with the Lord. It has its own challenges, but God is faithful. We give praise to his holy name. Praise the name of Jesus. So I want us to put our hands together for our pastors and leaders. Thank you so much for accepting yourself to be used with, by God in this place. Uh, we are going places. Apparently, I missed the Mother's Day, and I also missed the Father's Day, but now I feel like I did not miss the Father's Day. Um, I had left for ministry in Ethiopia, and I had, uh, I was visiting uh, different regions in Ethiopia uh, for ministry and also to see the projects that we are doing there um, just to make sure that everything is running well. So that kept me in different parts of Ethiopia, some places we had to fly uh, to get there. And um, part of the most exciting thing on this trip was to see um, multiplication. Um, one person plant, uh, that was trained, having planted a church, trained another one, having up to the fifth generation. It was very exciting to see how the ministry is expanding in Ethiopia. And also, I was part, it was a blessing to witness um, the Muslims who have come to the Lord. We had a baptism of about 30 Muslims uh, who gave their lives to Jesus. Um, that was on the first day and on a Sunday, 80 Muslims were baptized, um, being drawn into the kingdom of God. So it's exciting to see uh, how this is happening in Ethiopia. And uh, please do continue to pray for Ethiopia for peace. Um, because there are areas you cannot go, you can only fly, you cannot go by road. And I want to ask you to continue praying for Ethiopia. That the Lord will uh, bring peace in that country. It has about 130 million people. And uh, there is need for the gospel. Amen. Uh, you may be seated in the presence of God. Um, so you always bear with me um, when you see me uh, behaving strangely I, when I don't know how to receive honor. Amen. I, I don't know how to receive honor. And uh, when you have never been really honored in your life and it is happening in your later years, uh, you feel humbled greatly. Amen. So I feel gr humbled greatly. And um, um, I want the Lord to receive the glory. Uh, for Mount Moriah Christian School, God bless you. Um, our principal, thank you for reminding and uh, just remembering where the watchman's gate is. That was my office. There, there are tiles still there. So when that place, that place where the, the security person sits, all that you see has been developed from that corner. And uh, I remember when you came there for interview. We didn't have a school office. That, that was the school office. Um, when the school started, I used to be the head teacher. And I used to be the secretary. I used to be the one who changes children diapers. Um, and they would leave me with the children because some parents were coming late to pick their children. And I would stay here waiting for them to come. Others will come at 8 p.m. So patiently I would wait. And what do you do when you have children who are, who are peeing? You have to change the diapers. Um, I had a small laptop. I would put some cartoons. The children would be bored. They would start to cry. Um, but uh, that was the days of a humble beginning. Here we are with Mount Moriah Christian School. Um, somebody had to pay the price for what you see here 
to have happened. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, when we built the first structure here, we didn't have iron sheets to finish. You would preach and you would see the flights landing at Jomo Kenyatta. There was nothing built up here just a while ago. All this to the glory of God, we want to say thank you. And um, um, knowing that uh, what was mentioned, God had a vision. Without a vision, people perish. And if you don't have vision uh, interpreters, people who can see the vision and come along to support, it's also a challenge. So I want to thank all of you, and especially the leaders who have been reading the vision, because the vision is written. You have been reading the vision, and you have been following up on this vision. And may the Lord bless you. Um, one scripture that I remember this morning coming very strongly is in Hebrews that God is not unjust. God is not unjust. Amen. Help me to tell somebody God is not unjust. Yeah, God is not unjust to forget your labor, your sacrifice. God is not unjust to forget your sufferings. God is not unjust to forget um, um, the things and the commitment you have made for the sake of his kingdom. God is not unjust. Praise the name of Jesus. And um, one of the things to show us that God is not unjust, he says that whatsoever a man sows, he shall reap. Amen. Whatsoever a man sows, he shall reap. So there is um, a sowing and a reaping in the kingdom of God. Um, and this is encouragement to all of you that are here that you need to remain faithful to God. You need to remain faithful to God. There is nothing that God cannot do. What he has said he will do. Our faithfulness. Another thing as a father I want to encourage you is consistency. You need to remain consistent. Consistent. From day one of my giving my life to Jesus, I've remained consistent. And I want to encourage you to remain consistent. Consistent in what you do and especially in the kingdom of God. Uh, do not be um, a man who is saying one thing today and tomorrow you are doing another thing. Continue to pursue um, uh, that which the Lord has called you to do. So being consistent is very, very important if you are going to be anything. If you are going to achieve anything, you must be consistent. Uh, people give up very fast. People give up very fast. You, 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 you come to this place where there is uh, some struggle and you give up. Please, never give up. Continue pushing. Amen. Um, the kingdom of God is not for people who are drawing back. The kingdom of God is not for those who are drawing back. The kingdom of God is for men and women who are persistent. Um, the Bible talks about that widow. Um, the, 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 the one who came, uh, the woman who came to this judge and uh, wanted to, to get justice. And as she came and came, the unjust judge said, this woman is going to wear me. So let, let me do justice. Persistence. You have to be persistent. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to encourage the fathers this morning. Fathers, uh, for you to be a successful father, there's no room for mediocrity. Amen. There's no room. You, you need to uh, prove that you are a father. Being committed uh, to the things that you hear. That fathers are a providers. Fathers are protectors. Don't fall into the trap of Lot who decided to give away his children. We stand as fathers to bring security to our children. Which is very, very 
important. Praise the name of Jesus. So my prayer this morning is that um, you will stand strong in the Lord and never give up. You will stand strong in the Lord and never give up. Praise the name of Jesus. There are many things that can make us give up. There are many things that can make you give up. Please uh, stand strong in the Lord and never give up. Life, life is tough, but tough men and toughened men are going to make it. Amen. Tough and toughened men are going to make it. It, it, it is not for people who want easy. Easy. Praise the name of Jesus. It is easy, easy, easy life is not even there. There's no easy life. There's no easy life. I want to encourage you this morning that whatever you do, whatever your hands finds to do, do it with all your mighty. That's the word of God. And additionally, I want to remind you that time and chance is given to all of us. We all have time and a chance. We all have opportunity. We, walk, we wake up under 24-hour watch. None of us has 16. None of us has 10. None of us has 23 and a half. All of us, we have 24 hours every day. Therefore, time and chance is supplied to all of us. But why do we have variance? We have this variance because uh, people apply and use their time differently. There are those who use their time sparingly. They live a sparring life. Praise the name of Jesus. There are those who use their time. They use their time bountifully. There are those who use their time bountifully. Therefore, what happens? In abundance, the time brings results. Because they put their entire time to use. If you Use your time sparingly. Don't expect to begin to experience the grace of bountifulness. Praise the name of Jesus. So how do I use my time? How do I use my time? And this is very important for all of us. I want you to turn to somebody and tell the person seated to you, you can become anything. You can become anything. Praise the name of Jesus. You, you, you are not limited. Tell somebody you are not less. Yes. Tell, tell the person, me and you, we are not less. Yeah. Hallelujah. If God is doing it for others, he will do it for us. If God has done it for others, he will do it for us. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, what you want to keep is faith. Keep faith. Do what you are supposed to do. Don't, don't be laid back. Don't be laid back. Praise the name of Jesus. I say don't be laid back. So when we make commitment to the Lord and, and uh, uh, continue pursuing that commitment, believe me, the Lord will do what he has promised. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord will do what he has promised. So my prayer, my prayer this morning, my prayer this morning for all of us that are here, that you will never be disappointed. Praise the name of Jesus. You will never be disappointed. And I want you to know that God never calls us to disappointments. God calls us to appointments. He appoints us. And there is an appointment for all of us that are here with God. Tell somebody you have a debt with God. Tell somebody you have a debt with God. Because he's a God of appointments. 
Praise the name of Jesus. When we understand, when we understand that our God is a God of appointment, I look forward. When you have an appointment, you look forward for it, isn't it? Praise the name of Jesus. So I um, have this expectation every time I'm looking forward to what the Lord is going to do, for what the Lord is about to do. For what the Lord is about to do. Amen. And God provides opportunity for us to do something. There's room for us to do something. Going back to the, that verse in Ecclesiastes, there is time and chance for everyone. The race. The race. Media team, please give us that scripture. The race is not for the swift. The race is not for the swift. And we know, me and you, we know that we, the race is for the swift. The Bible says otherwise. The, the Bible says otherwise. That the race is not for the swift. Because the swift, they have also missed it. Let's read together. I returned and saw under the sun. That the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, nor the riches to men of understanding, nor of favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. Praise the name of Jesus. So sometimes we think riches are for men of understanding. Sometimes that's what we think. We, we think uh, just because we understand, and, and this has, speaks into uh, probably even, even education. Education. Praise the name of Jesus. And we think that battle is only won by the strong. And the Bible says it's not by mighty, nor a power, it is by the Spirit. Of, it's won by the Spirit of God. It's not won by the strong. It's not by mighty nor a power. It's not by being strong. Praise the name of Jesus. So my counsel to us this morning is how might we, uh, afternoon, how might we maximize the time and the chance we have? In leaving a mark, in leaving a mark in the lives of people. <coughs> How might we leave a mark? How might you leave a mark? How may you do something that will leave a mark? In the lives of people. Praise the name of Jesus. It is okay to leave a mark in your family. But how much more. Leaving a mark. That will impact the entire world. Praise the name of Jesus. How far would your legacy go? How far it. Would your legacy go? Praise God. What, what do you want to leave? We have capacity. Each one of us is built in with a capacity. A capacity. Child of God, the, the limitation is in you. You, you are the one who can limit yourself. But also the power to go beyond is in you. It's not outside. Hallelujah. Believing that what God says will come to pass. We have time. We have chance. Praise the name of Jesus. We have time and we have... Don't say I don't have time. 
We have time to make an impact. We have time to make a difference. We have time to... And it's not even saying I'm disadvantaged. Is there a willingness in your heart to make a difference? Is there a willingness in your life that I will make a difference? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today you may be feeling you are late. You are not late. Begin where you are. Begin to look at life differently from where you are. Because you want to make an impact in the earth. Praise the name of Jesus. You want to make an impact in people's lives. You can do it. You can do it. You can make an impact in other people's lives. We can make an impact in other people's lives. Hallelujah. We can call out things that are hidden in people because sometimes people don't see what is in themselves. You can call out those things and they will become. Praise the name of Jesus. And it's a responsibility of fathers to call out, to call out what they see in their children. You call it, you call it, you call it. Praise the name of Jesus. You call it, you call it. And when we call those things, they become. Hallelujah. Have faith that when you call those things, they become. So fathers see and fathers call. I'm challenging every father here. May the Lord help you to see. Spiritual fathers that are here. May the Lord help you to see. There are levels in fatherhood. They are senior fathers also. Praise the name of Jesus. And there are younger fathers who are becoming. You can see things and you can call them out. Even spiritually. You can see things in people and call those things out and they will become. Amen. You can help people. You can help people to... to you, you can wake up. You can wake up sleeping you can wake up sleeping giants you can wake up by calling them out hallelujah so I, I pray this morning that let, let us use the opportunity let us use the chance let us use the time let us use the chance let us use the time we have Praise the name of Jesus. I'll allow the Lord to, to use you. There is no limit in what you can do. There is no limit in what you can do. Praise the name of Jesus. Child of God, I repeat, there is no limit in what you can do. Don't look at yourself and say, there is no limit in what you can do. Learn to make adjustment in your life. Learn to make adjustment. Amen. Learn to do what? To make adjustment. One time when I could not pay the house I was living in, I went to live to, I, I moved. Amen. I did move. Making adjustment. Praise the name of Jesus. We decided with my wife we cannot just sleep. We started to bake bread and sell here in Nairobi. Here in Tasia. We began, we began a bakery in our kitchen and in the backyard. There is no limit in what you can do. Praise the name of Jesus. And out of that bakery, as the Lord continued to prosper us, I started to import ovens from China and sell. 
Amen. Hallelujah. You, you can become anything. Praise the name of Jesus. My wife would go for three nights without sleeping because we have to keep on baking to supply in the supermarkets. We had a chain of supermarkets right away from uh, South B, all the way, Kangundo Road, going round and around until here. You can become anything. Was I called to be a baker? No, I was a preacher. Praise the name of Jesus. A graduate from Bible college. Was baking part of my knowledge? Wasn't. I was not taught in Bible college to bake. But I became what we, we, time and chance. Praise the name of Jesus. Time and Time and chance. Praise the name of Jesus. I've, I've, I felt, let me speak into and, and share a bit of my life. Amen. Share a bit of our lives. And from that, things have continued to evolve because there is focus, there is consistency, there is praise the name of Jesus. I don't know what is in the pipeline next. It's not yet over. They are just unfolding, just unfolding, just unfolding. I don't know what you are going to hear next. Praise the name of Jesus. But I can hear in the spirit there's something on the way. You have to hear. I can hear in the spirit there's something on the way. There is no limit. Oh, you're tired, eh? <laughs> they are tired. Let, let them see it. Amen? That there is no limit. Praise the name of Jesus. So, I pray that God will help us and God will help you. You, you, you. These are millionaires. Amen. Come on. You are a millionaire. Praise the name of Jesus. Because all millionaires, they, 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 are, they have time and chance. Praise the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this afternoon for such an awesome time in your presence. And Lord, it humbles to see what you have done and what you are doing. I thank you for all that your hands have done. I thank you for all that your hands have done. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for all that your hands have done. I thank you for all that you have made possible. I thank you for all that you have made possible. Child of God, it is possible. It is possible. L lay it to Jesus. Bring it to Jesus. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Just open up your heart to the Lord and pray. There is no limit in what God can do for you. What God can do for your family. There's no limit. There's no limit. There is no limit in what God can do. I say pray and open up your heart to Jesus. You can become. You can become. Yes, there's no limit. Lord, we give you praise because there's no limit. Let every mountain melt. Let every hindrance give way. There's no limit. There is no limit in what God can do for you. And there is no secret in what God wants to do for you. What he has done for others, he will do for you. 
in different measures, in different levels. The Lord will do it. Oh, shekarabadadabu, imbradada, shedadada. Pour your heart to him and tell him, Lord, I, I am in your hands. Give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Lord, let, let me see that which you want me to see. May the Lord allow you to see. May the Lord allow you to see. May the Lord allow you to see, child of God. Open up my eyes. Tell him, Lord, open up my eyes. I want to see the opportunities around me. I want to see. I want to see the provision around me. I want to see. Lord, open up. Open up. Open up, Lord. Open up. Open up. We are created to have dominion. We have been created to rule. We have been created to exercise authority. We have been created. You have all that it takes in you to become. You have, child of God. You have. Shadabadadada. Ye karabada da 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 ba she da da. E baraba ba 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 she da 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 bosha da. Jesus. I pray you will break through. You will break through that cycle. You will break through. You will break through the cycle that has kept you. That you are not able to move to the next level of your life. That that cycle shall be broken. Shall be broken. And thou shall be released into the new level that the Lord has. Thank you, Jesus. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Sing Savior, 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 I'm calling here, my heart Tell him, Lord, do not pass me by. Oh, Na Yesu, Yesu, Yesu. Time and chance is for everyone. Time and chance.
chance. I say time and chance. Father, we thank you because of time and chance. Some people have used the time and chance wisely. Wisely. Others have not used time and chance wisely some people have used time and chance wisely I call you this morning to use the time and chance wisely wisely because it's, it's available for all of us Lord I pray for wisdom among your sons this morning and daughters how to use time and chance in a way that will bring glory and honor to you. In a way that they will not regret. In a way that will build others. In a way that will build a legacy. Lord, I pray for each one of them that they help us as we seek you. Help us as we seek. Help us as we seek. It's not too late. It's not too late. I say it's not too late. Thank you, Jesus. You could be here and you have not given your life to Jesus. And you are saying, I need to give my life to the Lord. You're not born again. I want to give you an opportunity. And those watching online, wherever you are, you may, be born, you may not be born again. But you are saying, yes, pastor, I want to give my life to the Lord. I would love to pray with you. Is there anyone this morning that's saying, I want to come to Jesus? If there be any in the house today, you're saying you want to come to Jesus. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. If you are here today and you are not born again, I want to pray for you. And I want to hear you can lift up your hand. Salvation is personal. It's not our salvation. It is my salvation. Anybody who wants to receive his salvation. And I want to hear. And I want to hear that we are saying, I want to give my life to Jesus. I'll, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Anyone? Thank you, Jesus. And the one here wants to give his life to the Lord. Father, we thank you that you have the desire to save every sinner. Lord, will you save the sinner? Will you convict the sinner? Will you bring the sinner to yourself? And that's why you say, come to me. And Father, this morning and this afternoon, I pray that wherever the sinner is, the sinner will not be comfortable in their sins, but the sinner will turn away from his sin and come to you. I pray for brokenness of heart. I pray for response. I pray for steps towards relationship with God. And Father, I thank you for those you save and those you redeem today. I pray for this week for your sons and daughters as they step out in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give him praise. Hallelujah. We may be seated in the presence of God. The ashes will give us envelopes to package our offerings to package our offerings package our offerings
Hallelujah. Those paying their tithe, <coughs> those paying their tithe, even when you give on a soft money platform, please just take an envelope and fill. We're still giving towards the project. We are doing well. I encourage you to continue believing God. There are uh, cards that can help you reach out to your friends. Please, in your various groups, um, reach out to your leaders. They will provide them. If you don't belong to any group and you want to partake, this is a sowing. You will never build for God and God fails to build you. When you build for God, God will build you. So all the groups are encouraging you. If you are not in any group, you can sign up. Sign up. You can ask the ashes here. They will help you to identify the leaders of various groups. 